Hi guys, thought I'd do a video to show you how I wrap um, and safely posed my polymer clay sculptures. When I was first starting out as polymer clay artist and selling my work, um, there was quite a few trial and errors uh, with sending my sculptures out. Uh, so this is the best way I've found over the last five or six years um, of wrapping my sculptures um, to not have any breakages during transit. So I thought it'd be nice to pass on my experience with you guys. So first of all, um, obviously you're going to need a good sturdy box um, and get yourself some fragile tape. And this is what I will be wrapping today. So I've got some polymer clay dragons. get yourself some bubble wrap and what we're going to do is we're going to double layer this so that will give um, sculpture extra protection so I'm going to lay the sculpture flat on the bubble wrap and then carefully fold over the bubble wrap and then just gently roll it down the bubble wrap like so just keep gently rolling it Whatever you do, don't rush because you don't want to obviously break it before it's even gone in the box. So once it's rolled, just leave it to one side. Then I'm going to get another thin strip of bubble wrap. And then I'm going to place it the opposite way on the bubble wrap, like so. And then gently fold over the bubble wrap. And there's quite a big gap between uh, the bottom of the sculpture and the top of the sculpture, uh, just here. So then what we're going to do is gently fold that over, again being careful not to crush the sculpture. Okay, so once he's wrapped like that, that's two layers then of bubble wrap. I'm going to get myself a fragile sticker. I tend to use stickers instead of tape just because I find that when the customer comes to open them then it's easier to peel off a sticker than it is to pull tape uh, which can also cause breakages as well so you can leave that for like so I'll just repeat that for you so you can see it again so thin layer well thin strip of bubble wrap get your sculpture put it kind of just before the end of the uh, strip of bubble wrap gently fold over the sculpture line the sculpture flat and then gently rolling the sculpture down the strip of bubble wrap <coughs> it's okay to just leave the bit get yourself another strip of bubble wrap and then you're going to place it the opposite way at the end of that second strip. But leave yourself a gap so you can fold it over obviously. There we go. And then, fold it over the other way. So you're kind of like making a parcel with it. I find that gives it the most protection and you're not crushing the sculpture then. You get yourself a fragile sticker just to stop it unravelling. So then it should look something like this. Sorry, something like this. So you see how they're quite square, but you have got you know quite a bit of a gap. You can tape the side, but I find the less stickers you use um, or tape you use, the less likely um, you are to have the customer kind of like tear the tape. And, uh, break their sculpture as they're trying to unwrap it. So the less tape you can use the better, I find. So you're going to need to make sure that the box you use is plenty big enough to allow packing chips to go underneath the sculpture, around the sides of the sculpture and on top of the sculpture. So it might take you a while bit of trial and error figuring out what size boxes you need to use for your sculptures depending on the size of your sculptures obviously so I'm just going to double check make sure these guys fit in here okay and as you can see there's plenty of room here around the sides of the sculpture 
sculptures, should I say. So that means that packing chips can go all the way around. So you don't want the sculptures touching the sides of the box at all, bottom or top. They need to be perfectly central so that they're completely surrounded by packing chips. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly fill the bottom of the box with a thin layer of packing chips to the point where you can't see any cardboard. So just bear with me and I'll do that now and come straight back to you. Okay, so I filled the bottom of the box with a thin layer of packing chips just to the point where you can't see any cardboard on the bottom. So now all you need to do is just carefully place your sculptures central. Doesn't matter which way you put them up. In the box. So as you can see, perfectly central. So now what I'm going to do is carefully pack the chips around the two sculptures um, and make sure that the packing chips are completely wedged down the sides so that the uh, sculptures do not move at all in the box. So I'll just do that now and come straight back. Okay, so now I have placed the packing chips around the sculptures, as you can see. So I did take a little bit of time just being careful to make sure that the packing chips were wedged around the edges, just so that you don't get any movement at all of the sculptures. So once you've done that and you're happy that they're not going to move at all, you can go ahead and completely cover the top layer uh, of the box so that you can't actually see the sculptures anymore. Okay guys, so now I've completely covered the sculptures with the top layer of packing chips. Um, I've made sure that I've gone right up to the edges of the box, but obviously you don't want to put too many in. Don't have it overflowing because then obviously when you come to close the box, you're going to end up crushing the sculpture. So you just need to make sure that you've got an even layer the edge of the box <clears throat> before the lid so that you can easily place over the flaps obviously you don't want it too um, you don't want obviously the opposite where it, you know you don't have the packing chips all the way to the edge because then you're going to get movement so you kind of need to fill it as much as you can but without it overflowing Wrap this up. Any type of packing chips will do. Um, these are the S-shaped ones, but I have used the normal packing peanuts before, um, and they've worked exactly the same, absolutely fine. So it's just whatever preference you prefer, really. So just keep it there we go that is completely sealed ready to go and what I usually do is just give it a little kind of shake like that just so I can make sure that there's no movement if you feel the sculpture moving at all then it means that you haven't packed it properly or it's not kind of packed in properly so you will need to reopen it and pack a few more packing chips in there but it's very very rare that I get um, any breakages during transit with this with this method so hopefully it'll work for you guys but if you've got any questions uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you but I hope this helps you um, I wish there were videos like this when I was first starting out as I did have a fair amount of sculptures break in transit but I learned my lesson and I found that this is the perfect way to do it so I hope it works for you guys have a nice day bye bye